what percentage of salespeople do you think are resistant to grabbing a hold and doing what they should do just because they think they know better or they don't think they need to? But how big a group is that? Is it a majority of salespeople? Yeah, it's something close to 90% in the beginning. Our job as leaders and speakers and sales trainers is to turn as many as you can. But basically, it's 90%. And it's not only the two reasons you listed. It's laziness and slothfulness. If you can get by with not doing stuff like that, you do. I, I wouldn't know any scripts now if I hadn't learned Dempsey throwing me out of the business and Earn Westmore dying on stage. It took those two events to really convince me that scripting keep saying scripting because I'm talking I'm picturing me in front of somebody talking but scripting in a letter scripting uh, in an email scripting in a flyer it's just a matter of getting it right and then people say one of the ways I overcome that with some who are a little brighter than others they'll say well you know I just I sort of like to wing it and I said do you think the Wall Street Journal has somebody writing 50 different letters a day and they mail one to this guy and your neighbor across the street gets a different one and down here gets somebody else. Oh no, I'm sure they've settled on a good one. Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. Settle on a good script, on a good presentation, one that's been written by somebody who knows what they're doing and or tested by you. Sometimes you're the one that has to write the script. They had written scripts that made me a lot of money, but I could see I was raised in a family of salespeople. My father, all of his brothers, sisters, and all my aunts and uncles, everybody that uh, I knew was involved in selling in some manner. And so I, I sort of saw the benefit of it, and I picked up a few tips along the way. So when I became head of the company about a year and a half after that, after September 15, 1965, First thing I did was tackle the scripts to take out the splinters in them because I knew from standing in front of hundreds of rooms, I knew where where the bumps were. I could see, the, see it in their faces, but I didn't have the authority to change it. As soon as I did, I changed it, improved it, and sales, not just because of me, but it was a major factor in sales skyrocketing and the company becoming legendary.